After last week's pan flute, I decided to keep up with the musical theme, and this week, I'm going to build a penny whistle. Start by cutting a 1 half inch diameter piece of CPVC 30.5 centimeters long. Then cut another piece 3 centimeters long. Finally, cut a 1 half inch wooden dowel down to 3 centimeters. Next we want to cut an angle into one end of the small piece of pipe. Try to make it about 45 degrees. This is going to be the mouthpiece. Now we want to do the same thing to the block of wood. I put the wood inside the pipe so I could follow along the line. The angle is not critical. Then use a file or some sandpaper to sand everything smooth. Should look like this. Next we're going to cut a slot right here on the small side of the pipe. Should look like this when you're done. Now I'm going to draw a straight line down one side of the pipe. This will act as a guide. Next place a mark 3 centimeters from one end of the pipe. Then place two small marks about 3 to 4 millimeters on either side of the line. Now draw two more straight lines from those marks to the edge of the pipe. We're going to cut this section out. To do this, I use a razor blade. I started by scoring both lines as straight as possible. Then I went over it multiple times until I cut through. Once I was through, I used the razor to score the final edge. This time I didn't cut all the way through, just about halfway. From there I could just use a pair of pliers to break it off. Then I used a file to smooth everything down. Now we need to cut another 45 degree angle on this piece. It doesn't have to perfectly match the other one, but get it close if you can. Now let's smooth it out, and it should look like this. Now place the wooden dowel into the end and match up the angled cuts. Then snap on the smaller mouthpiece. Slide it down so it lines up with the wooden dowel. You should have a small gap like that. Now your whistle should be able to play a single note. If no sound comes out, adjust the mouthpiece and the dowel back and forth until you find the sweet spot. Then use a small piece of sandpaper to carve an angle into the lip. Aim for about 30 degrees. This should give you a cleaner sound. You can test as you go. Now let's clean up the other edges. Notice here how the mouthpiece either lines up with the dowel or sticks over the dowel's edge. I downloaded a free tuner app on my tablet. Blowing into the whistle should produce a note near D. You can see here mine's a little bit flat. I shaved about one millimeter at a time off the bottom of the whistle. This slowly raises the pitch. That's much better. Now we're about to start making the holes. On the bottom are the fingerings for those notes. The black circles represent closed holes, and the white circles represent open holes. So you can see with all the holes closed, like the whistle is now, that's a D. With only the bottom hole open, that should play an E. So next we're going to mark that bottom hole, cut it open, and tune it until it comes out sounding like an E. You can also see the measurements for where the holes should be placed. For example, for a D, there is no hole. For an E, only the bottom holes open. This hole should be located about 225 millimeters from the edge of the wooden dowel. You can see here how I'm measuring from the edge of that dowel. The measurement doesn't have to be 100% exact. We'll tune the note by slowly making the hole bigger and bigger until it's just right. I started out using a razor blade just until I made a small hole. Then I checked the tuning. I was very flat. So to fix this, I just slowly enlarged the hole until I was in tune. That's much better. After measuring out and cutting the first three holes, you should be able to start playing a little tune. Once you've measured, cut, and tuned all six holes, it should look something like this. 
So next we'll sand the body down to get rid of all these marks. And then we'll sand out the holes. Be careful not to take off too much or you'll throw off the tuning. And that's all there is to it. So it's a little more complicated than the pan flute, but not by much. It costs under $10 to build, and I did it in less than three hours, even though I've never built one before. And it doesn't sound half bad.